Good morning everyone. Isang mapagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. Ako po si Ginoong Val Daguros. Isa rin po ang tagapayo sa Grade 10 Arellano. And at the same time, I am the SSG officer. Uh, I am the SSG advisor. In line with our guidance office best program in carrying what's best for our students' welfare in anti-violence and anti-bullying, it was shaped this topic into its best. So this morning, allow me to share with you some slides that was collected from different surveys, especially from PISA. And if you're ready, come on, join me now. So mom, let's have the first slide, please. The bullying surveys in the Philippines collected from the Senate of the Philippines and of course from the PISA, which means Program for International Student Assessment. So let's start for the survey from the Senate of the Philippines. And this was during the 19th Congress. Global survey says Filipino students most exposed to bullying. Naniniwala po ba kayo doon? Not only students, even as professionals, your peers, your administrators, your teachers, were even subject of bullying. Nakakalungkot nga isipin dahil marami sa mga guru ninyo ang binubuli nyo rin lalo kapag nakatilikod sila. Gatchel wants to see the anti-bullying law is strictly reinforcement. Global survey, it says here that among 79 countries from PISA, uh, Filipino students are lowest in reading. This is very sad in our plight as teachers and at the same time Filipinos. Can you imagine we top at the bottom survey from those lists of those who cannot read, especially in English? Number two, we are second lowest in science and mathematics. When they hear about the subject mathematics and science, some of our students are afraid and they intend to escape classes. So sad about this, especially for lower sections. But I'm not saying the lot ng lower section ay ganito ang ginagawa nila. Pero kadalasan, based on our experience, kapag math na yan, medyo hilong talilong na yung mga kapwa nyo mag -aran. Third one, the most exposed to bullying 65% of Filipino students experience bullying at least a few times a month, way beyond the 23% average among 79 countries that joined the global survey. We are referring here about the PISA, the Program for International Student Assessment. Number four, both aggressors and victims tend to skip classes, show poor academic performance, and the worst, drop out of school. So some of our students might experience this, especially, again, in the lower sections, because they are most likely experiencing things like this. Let's have the next slide, ma'am. Number five, on the 2018 PISA survey, Students who reported being threatened scored 56 points lower in reading than those who did not. Have you tried to experience this when you were threatened by your peers or by your students saying, Mamaya kasalabas? And those things which was explained ahead of me by Mom Vena Amor, this will subject to school authorities. Students whose peers made fun of them scored 13 points, lower than those who were not. Have you experienced this? That you will be become the subject of funny or somewhat you become the center of attraction in your class, but it seems that it distracts your personality. In other words, ginagawa kayong katatawanan ng mga bullies ninyo. 
And what are you going to do then? You are going to once again person in authorities inside the school if that happens inside the school. Or if that happens outside, we also have other person in authorities. What are recommendations for this? Secure students to have quality education. Letter A, is stop bullying in schools so students can learn more and not lag behind their international student counterparts. But the question is, how can we stop bullying then if we have a lot of bullies around the corner? So it's a big challenge to our school administrators, not only for teachers, not even to our guidance counselors, but the, the whole family of the school as well. Letter B, bystander intervention should be encouraged and capacitated to protect their peers from becoming victims of bullying and deter their bully peers and rehab themselves as well. No high school pa kami, sabi ng mga teachers namin, sabi nila para hindi kayo mabully, dapat meron kayong kasama. Para kung sakali, may magbubuli sa inyo, yung kaibigan nyo, yung kasama nyo, might even defend you to your bullies. Senator Sherwin Gatchalian is the major chair in, of the Committee on Basic Education, Culture, and Arts. For other recommendation, let's have the other slide, ma'am. The PISA study further reported that 26% of students felt lonely and students were more likely to express sadness when they are bullied more frequently. Why? Because they feel they were humiliated. And when they were humiliated, what follows then? That sounds for depression. And once the student depressed, that's one thing we should be vigilant. That's too dangerous. So try to think, tingnan nyo mabuti yung mga kaklase ninyo, katabi ninyo, baka mamaya hindi na nagsasalita, pero mayroon na palang kinikim-kim na sama ng loob dahil binuli sila na mga bullies dito sa school. In most countries and economies, students were more likely to report positive feelings when they reported a strong sense of belonging at school and, gen and greater student cooperation. This study noted, despite the high bullying rate, 95% of the Filipino respondents said they sometimes always feel happy, while 84% said it is a good thing to help students who cannot depend themselves. A positive, peaceful, accepting, accommodating school environment will make students feel they belong and secure. That is why we were always reminded not only by the school principal long even before the class opening. Our guidance counselor made a way for us to let you know, especially students, what are the those and don'ts inside and outside the school. And the most common denominator here, if you encounter problem, go to their office immediately. Another slide, man. Bullying survey way back November 26, 2022. It is said here that bullying is a perennial and recurring problem in the Philippines. But what is it and how can be it addressed? UNICEF 2019 or United Nations Children Fund of 2019. One out of three young individuals have experienced online bullying in 30 countries. My dear young learners, this is very evident. You know why? You have all with you the gadgets. In just one click of your hand, you might be a bully and subject for bullying. That is why we keep on reminding you before clicking, you have to think of it for how many times. Or simply I say, think before you clip, especially if you're about to post 
some things or pictures that might depict funny or comic characters portraying your friends or your classmates. In the Philippines, we eat free speech of breakfast because it is one of our core values. Because of this, it is but normal for hate speeches or abusive creative expression to take place. This is where you can hear now and sabori words. This is where your classmates will fabricate things or even words against you. Another one, since by default we are biased in protecting free speech, in author's opinion, we should exert a conscious effort to protect the right to safe spaces and privacy. If you can recall, we can just also include here, if you are familiar with Republic Act 11313 in relation to Safe Spaces Act and Privacy. And later, if you have, or if you are going then to invite some lawyers, they are going to discuss what's in about Republic Act 11313. Article 5 and 12 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights speaks of the right against torture, including mental, of course, and safe space and privacy. You can see this in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights as is stated. You can also uh, see then not only this, but of course, other welfare intended for students were also included in UDHR. And if you are in grade 10, this will be talked and tackled on the fourth quarter of your subject, Contemporary Issues. Next slide. We learn bullying too. Ang ginagawa ng matatanda sa mata ng bata ay laging tama. Ang tanong, tama ba? So, nasa inyo yan. Kung sa tingin niyo tama ang ginagawa ng magulang ninyo o nakakatanda sa inyo, at sa tingin niyo ay it leads you in a good direction, bakit hindi natin susubukan, sundan? Pero kung sa tingin natin, mali sila, bakit natin susundan? So, I define in saying, Ang ginagawa ng matanda sa mata ng bata ay laging tama. Parang ito yung kasabihan din ng mga bata kami, sabi doon sa isang commercial, ang ginagawa ng matanda ay ginagawa rin ng mga bata. Nakakalungkot isipin because what they thought, lahat ng ginagawa ng mga matatanda ay tama. Pero minsan, nagkakamali rin yung mga matatanda. Almost bullying surveys are for adolescents or younger. But you can also find links for office discrimination. Bull bully employers, co-workers, parental abuse, neglect, and adults who are involved in exploitation of minors like child labor, especially who's involving child pornography and child prostitution. This was shared to you by Ma'am Vienna Amor in relation with pornography and obscene material. Teachers, administrators, students, parents, community leaders, law enforcers, social welfare workers, and advocates against bullying and other forms of violence against minors, we should all do our part in making our spaces free but peaceful and fruitful. So this is all I can share with you as stipulated on the Philippine Surveys on Anti-Bullying. Thank you for joining me and thank you for spending a bit of your time. See you all and God bless. Thank you.